So my name is Rob Wang. Uh, I'm one of the uh, co-founders of Three Year Systems. Uh, we're a small three-person startup based out of San Francisco, uh, but we're trying to fundamentally change how people use computers, how people interact with computers. Um, I like to start with a video. Uh, I want to show you some computer interfaces from the future. So this is uh, how Tony Stark uses a computer in the movie Iron Man. And uh, it's not even just Hollywood either. Uh, so this is from SolidWorks, which is one of the most successful computer-aided design software companies in the world. This is how they imagine engineering to be in the future, how people <laughs> interact with computers. So at 3Gear, we believe that the future of human-computer interaction is not a better mouse. It's something that's built to suit the 3D world around us. And it's something where you can use all 10 of your fingers, both of your hands, to interact. So basically, there's been a lot of cool interfaces that you've seen in movies, in science fiction, uh, from your imaginations. We're bringing that to market. So I'll first show you what we're trying to build, and then I'll show you what we actually have. Um, so this is, uh, this is what we're trying to build. Um, it's basically a lamp that understands your gestures. Uh, it's something that you put on your desk, or maybe in your kitchen, or in your office, or even in your bedroom, and it turns the space beneath it into an interactive space. Um, and this is not quite what we have right now. I'll show you what we have, which is, um, for those people who can't see in the back, this is what I'm showing um, on this desk right now. It's basically something that looks kind of like a lamp already. It's just not quite as polished. But I'll show you what we can do with it already. I'll jump into a, a demo. So if I do this. Yeah. All right. So this is actually uh, already working. Um, but you can see I have a camera that's looking at my hands. And this is what my hands are doing. And it's tracking that uh, real time in 3D. Uh, it tracks certain gestures. Um, and we can use those gestures to interact with certain applications. So um, this is the application I just showed uh, uh, in that video. And basically, I can pinch with my hands, like so, and I can start grabbing things, moving things around in 3D, as if I'm just grabbing them in thin air. Uh, this is actually a cutting plane. I'm using both of my hands in this case, so one to move the heart, one to cut through it. I can rotate stuff. Um, I think you get the idea. Uh, I'll show you another one. This is something that turns my hand into a cricket bat. Uh, for those people who know what cricket is, it, it, it's it's like it's kind of like baseball, uh, except the bat it doesn't round, and uh, and other differences. But um, you know, I can I can move my hand, I can use it to hit things like so, um, and uh, it, it's it's fully 3D. So I'm doing six degree of freedom control of my hands. I can move forward and back and left and right and up and down as well as rotate in every dimension. And finally, I'll show you something that's a little bit more <coughs> mundane. So um, this is actually just controlling the mouse. So you can still see, I hope you can still see my hand over here in this area. But now when I move my hand, I'm controlling the mouse. And the mouse cursor is probably a little bigger than usual. Uh, but I can use it to go to websites. Like this is just some random web page that happens to have 3D content. And I can just take my hand and let me see if I can show with what I'm doing with my hands is I, I'm grabbing something and just moving it around like so. Looks like the front end of an instrument. And of course I can go to Reddit and there's a gesture I can do to kind of like scroll the page like so. Uh, go up and down and uh, I don't know if all these things are safe for work but uh, you, you get the idea. <laughs> um, so I can just click on stuff. 
And I'll show you one more thing. And I'm not going to play a video game right now, but you can use this to play video games. Uh, this is kind of laggy, but this is one of us um, playing uh, a few different video games. This one's Portal. This one's Minecraft. Um, and you, you can shoot portals and, and move around. You can chase after pigs. Um, you get the idea. Um, one thing I want to make clear, and, and this is something that we get asked a lot, so I'll, I'll actually address this preemptively, is we do have competition. Um, and uh, there are other people who are working in the space. Um, one of them <coughs> is called Leap. Uh, the way we see ourselves in terms of uh, how we compare our competitors and, and, um, and uh, you know, what, what our value is, is really two factors. First of all, our system is built for comfort. It's built for ergonomics. If you notice what I was doing, I kind of had my hand pretty much one or two centimeters off the keyboard all the time. My arm is resting on the desk. It's comfortable. All I'm doing is moving my, my fingers around like so, or my wrist around like so, and I can cover the whole screen this way too. I can do this all day. I'm not going to get tired doing this. There are other interfaces where you have to kind of raise your hand up really high like so, and that tires out your arms. It engages your shoulder muscles. It's, there's this thing called the gorilla arm effect. Uh, the other thing that we're different is it's very usable, right? We can basically select things with, with a pinch, like, uh, like you're seeing right now. So I can you know, select things, drag things around, and so on. And this is something that our competitors actually have a hard time doing, just being able to recognize the whole hand, regardless of whether it's sticking out like this or kind of crumpled like that, like a more natural configuration. So in terms of usability, we think we have an advantage. Um, OK, I guess I'll end with, um, you know, if you also believe that the future of interfaces is not a better mouse. It's not just a, another 2D touchpad. Um, come talk to me, whether you're an engineer or an investor or some, somebody else who's just interested or a hobbyist. Uh, I'd be happy to talk with you afterwards. Uh, thanks for your time. That's right. <laughs> Questions for Rob? And I'm not a UI designer. What is it about the future of user interface that seems to direct it towards either the physical, as in gaming, and or the visual? And um, what about those who think and communicate best verbally? I think verbal is going to definitely be part of it. We're still going to use language and words and all that to communicate. That's that's not going away. Um, but I'm saying that the way you interact with computers should be more like interacting with the real world. I mean, that's what we're trying to get at. Um, a lot of people are good at communicating with words, but I also guarantee that almost everybody in this room played with blocks when they were kids, right? Or, or um, you know, built things with their hands, have held a tool like a hammer, right? Have grabbed a beer bottle in this case, in, in this room, right? Like, uh, we, we all know how to do these things. And we're trying to take that language that kind of common heritage that we have and put it as added to, to how we use a computer. That's what we're trying to do. We're not going to replace language. We're not going to replace words. Can I just do a quick follow-up? What about people with um, eye-hand coordination issues? Is it is it harder for them to, like I've noticed a difficulty uh, with some folks going from the mouse to the trackpad. Is, it, is there going to be that difficulty, or is, or is the, as, as digital natives, as my son just grows up with this kind of technology, this will be natural to him? Yeah, I, I certainly think it's going to, I mean, the more you use it, the more it feels as, like part of you. A lot of people are very good at the mouse these days. It's, it's an extension of my hand, you know. Um, but I, I do think there's something there in, in terms of kind of enriching or Kind of increasing the bandwidth to how with we use our computers, and that comes down to you know ten fingers, two hands, right? And I don't think that that actually makes it more difficult. I think it can actually make it more natural, make it easier. Other questions? How long have you guys been working on this? Um, a little bit more than a year. So we started the company in March of 2012. Yeah. Not very long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, this is kind of my field too, and. and 
Chris and Kenrick's field as well, my co-founders. Gotcha. And so uh, we, we've been in this field for a while. But yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah, I'll repeat the question. Yeah, sorry. Oh, go ahead. So, so uh, you're inside your little rectangular box there uh, on your device. Is it more than a webcam? What, what's, in, what's in the? Oh, this thing here. It's actually a depth sensing camera. Uh, you can think of it as something that it's like a regular camera. It sees colors, right? But this sees how far things are away, are away from the camera. Two cameras? Uh, it's actually, we're only using a single camera, but there's a laser in a camera. Uh, it's kind of like the Kinect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Get a hand for, for the uh, reality here. Uh, what's the, what sort of resolution and the latency? Okay, the question is about resolution and latency, right? Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, accuracy of tracking that, oh, sorry, yeah, I, I can plug that back in too. Uh, in terms of the accuracy of tracking the hand, we're talking about uh, seven millimeter accuracy. Uh, not much less than a millimeter, but about a millimeter. Uh, and about a degree of rotational accuracy as well. Um, in terms of latency, it's about 70 milliseconds or so. Um, and, uh, you know, just to compare, like a mouse is about five milliseconds. You, you can't notice it at all. Right. 70, you can, you can notice it a little bit, but I claim that it's actually still very useful. Time so. for one more. So when will you have this product available for sale and how will you sell it? That's a good question. So you can buy the developer kit right now. So if you're a hobbyist um, or if you're an individual just wanting to play with this, the software is free. We sell a hardware developer kit um, and uh, you can get that right now. You can go to our website, 3gear, T-H-R-E-E-G-E-A-R dot com uh, and you can get that. In terms of a consumer product, it's probably going to be, uh, say, mid-2014. Great. Thanks, Russ. Yeah. Thank you.